This is the 500 on film. I'm Ray Steele, along with Indy's film expert Matthew Sosi. We're talking about the movies connected to the Indy 500, and particularly focusing on films that shot a lot of their footage, at least here in Indianapolis. And one of those, and it got a lot of attention when it was here, To Please a Lady, came out in 1950 from MGM, starring two of the biggest stars ever, Clark Gable and Barbara Stanwyck. Because when I think racing titles, To Please a Lady is sure. really... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just being snarky on that. Yeah, Clark Gable plays racer Mike Brannon, and uh, Barbara Stenwick plays reporter Regina Forbes. And guess what, friends? At the beginning of the film, they don't like each other. Shocker. Shocker. And guess what? That will change as the film goes on. Um, we yes, we get a le some leather helmet scenes with Clark Gable, and we get banter scenes like this one in the in the. This is not the Snake Pit. That's uh, Stanwyck and Gable at a club, <laughs> and then a, a a racing death gets Mike his character barred from the the ma minor league racing circuit. He has to go in and become a stunt driver for a circus and build his way back, save up money to get his own car so he can finally race at the Indianapolis 500. And uh, eventually qualifies for the 500, which was shot in Indianapolis. And uh, fun fact, while they were shooting it in Indy, Barbara Stenwick was on Victory Lane yes. to give a smooch to real life 500 winner, Johnny Parsons. So for you historians out there, Yep, they, they actually shot this in Indianapolis. I think I heard they shot one scene uh, over the fence, and this was right about uh, as the race was about to begin. The actual race was about yeah. to begin. Again, could you imagine IRL? <laughs> Wait, you're going to do what? No, I mean, <laughs> I, and, and it was one of those kind of lovey-dovey things where they're meeting at the fence just before the race starts, and they actually did this before the race started. So. And you could see drivers, the actual drivers, going behind Clark Gable and Barbara Stanwyck Correct. in the shot. So, you know, Drew Barrymore and Jimmy Fallon at the World Series, not that no. big a deal. No. Not for you. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but, I mean, they probably had like one take to get that right. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you can't you can't do take two at the 500. No, no. Or, or that's, a, that's the, uh, the uh, warning flag. Yeah. White flag. The white flag. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I grew up in Michigan. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's not. A, that's why he's a film guy. He's not a racing guy. Oh, but, uh, man. <laughs> uh, th another thing that stood out to me about this, Clark Gable and Barbara Stanwyck had been stars for a very long time, leading um, men and women uh, in, in movies for a very long time. And Barbara Stanwyck, um, not to you know, say that you're too old to do something, uh -oh. but in, in, in Hollywood at that time, she was, I think, 43 or so when this Correct. movie came out. That was that was quite aged for a quote unquote leading lady. Yeah, there is that. She's too, you know, maybe she can play Aunt May this time around. Oh, gee, that's a little harsh. Man. Well, no, my running joke, actually, my running joke, the next Aunt May will probably be <laughs> Ariel Winter. So, oh, yeah, probably so. Because yeah. guys run Hollywood. We're sorry. Yeah, and, and Clark Gable was pushing 50 at the time. Yes, he so. was. And well, guys, again, guys, guys run Hollywood. Right. We're sorry. So, but yeah, but he was really showing his age. Um, he'd have another decade of films, yeah. I think, of course, with The Misfits, mm -hmm. where he's standing next to Marilyn Monroe, which makes him look even older. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, that's that's just what they do. But, it, you know, they, they have some fun together. This is another film where it's, it's not so much, is it about will they win the race or will they reconcile? And uh, it's 1950, I think you can guess. Yeah. To Please a Lady from MGM, check it out. Probably going to be on TCM anytime soon. And uh, you can see it there. And, of course, it's connected to the Indy 500. This has been... The 500 on film.